The battles of Lexington and Concord, which took place on April 19, 1775, were the first military engagements of the American Revolutionary War. These battles marked the beginning of the United States' fight for independence from Great Britain and the start of a long and bloody conflict that would eventually lead to the formation of a new nation. The American colonies had been growing increasingly discontent with British rule for years, and tensions came to a head in 1774 with the passage of the Coercive Acts. These laws, which were intended to punish Massachusetts for the Boston Tea Party, were seen as unjust by many Americans and sparked widespread protests throughout the colonies. In response, the British government stationed troops in Boston to maintain order and enforce the new laws. The tension between the British troops and American colonists reached a boiling point in April of 1775, when the British decided to send a force to confiscate weapons and ammunition stored in Concord, Massachusetts. The news of this planned mission quickly spread, and Paul Revere and other writers set out to warn the local militia that the British were coming. When the British troops reached Lexington, they were met by a small group of colonial militia who had assembled on the village green. Although the exact circumstances of what happened next are still disputed, what is known is that shots were fired and eight Americans were killed. This event, known as the Battle of Lexington, marked the beginning of open hostilities between the American colonists and British troops. The British troops then continued on to Concord, where they encountered a larger force of American militia. The ensuing battle was much more intense, and the Americans, who were fighting on their own home turf, put up a determined resistance. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the Americans managed to hold their own, and eventually forced the British to retreat back to Boston. The battles of Lexington and Concord had far-reaching consequences for both Great Britain and the American colonies. In the short term, the battles galvanized the American people and solidified their resolve to fight for their rights and independence. The news of the battle spread rapidly throughout the colonies, and thousands of men answered the call to arms. In the long term, the battles marked the start of the American Revolutionary War, a conflict that would ultimately lead to the creation of a new nation, the United States of America. The legacy of the battles of Lexington and Concord is still felt today. These battles are seen as a symbol of American independence and determination and they have become an important part of American history and heritage. The site of the battles is now a national historic park, and thousands of people visit each year to learn about the events that took place there and to pay homage to the brave men and women who fought for their rights and their freedom. In conclusion, the battles of Lexington and Concord were a turning point in American history and the beginning of a long and bloody conflict that would eventually lead to the formation of a new nation. These battles marked the start of the American Revolutionary War, and they continue to be remembered as a symbol of American independence and determination.